firstly, we've got our eye scanner, we've got our door, and when you walk up to it, check this out, ready? It goes, identity match, and the door opens up. Oh, isn't that clean, guys? And then you walk through here, guys, and then check this out, the door is gonna close really nicely right behind us. Hey, what's up, guys? EY Stream back here with another Minecraft video. And today, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make an actually working Eye scanner in a Minecraft. That's right, guys. I'm talking about the kind of thing that it looks at your face and goes bzzz, and then lets you through. We're talking iPhone 10 facial recognition in Minecraft without any mods or add ons. That is right, guys. This is going to be 100% vanilla Minecraft. And the best part is it's going to work for any version of Minecraft. Whether you guys are running iPad, iPhone, Android, Xbox, Nintendo, Switch, or PC, this will work for you so you can take your security game. To the next level! And uh, so those pesky little friends who always come into your house, steal your diamonds, I'm looking at you, Bob! Okay, just kidding, guys. I have nothing against Bob, but you guys all know those friends who come into your base when you don't want them to. They'll never be able to get through again, because now you have facial recognition. So if you're looking for today's video, make sure to drop a like down below. We're going for 3,000 likes. And of course, guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to snap the subscribe button and hit that bell icon. Ding, 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 to never miss an upload. And that way, you guys will always have the coolest secret builds before any of your friends do. But only if you hit that little bell icon, so it's super important you guys do that. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. Now, shout out to FedEx Gaming, who gave me inspiration for this. Unfortunately, his build, though, doesn't work in the current update, and it was a little clunky for my liking. So I made it better, I made it smaller, and I made it work in the new update. But shout out to him anyway, guys, for his inspiration. So guys, before we can build it, I need to show you how this bad boy works. So firstly, we've got our eye scanner, we've got our door, and when you walk up to it, check this out, ready? It goes, identity match, and the door opens up. Oh, isn't that clean, guys? And then you walk through here, guys, and then check this out. The door is going to close really nicely right behind us. Look at that. And it's open just long enough so that you can bring a friend in if you actually want your friend to get into your base. And as you can see, I got my diamonds in here. I got my diamonds in here. And trust me, no one's going to be getting hold of my diamonds ever again because now i got facial recognition, baby. And to get out of here, guys, it's super simple. You just walk up to the door. It opens up. And then, as you guys can see, right behind me there, it's going to close nice and clean. The best part of this whole build is that there is no exposed redstone on the surface, so it looks really, really clean. Now, you may be thinking, anyway, stream, but what if someone other than you walks up to the door, like a friend, for example, aren't they just going to break down the door? And guys, I understand what you're saying there, so guys, I have a solution. So I'll show you what happens. Basically, ooh, 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 all the redstone's exposed. No, you guys can't see that yet. I'm just going to quickly change this. Imagine, guys, it's looking for my sister. So I, if I change the 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 eye scanner now it's going to look for my sister so that's my sister's cra uh, crossbow b that's her username and now it's only looking for my sister so let's say i'm in survival i come up here guys and i'm like oh cool eye scanner and then i come up here it goes access denied leave or die and if i try and break down this glass door yeah well look at that guys i'm very very dead now the cool thing with this is that if you come up to it it goes access denied leave or die if you don't mess with the door it's not going to kill you so that way you know if your friends are trying to break down your door because, well, you'll see them come up in the kill feed going, uh, who I stream died or whoever died, guys. It's a really cool system, and it means that it gives your friends a chance to live, but also if they try to get in, uh, your little eye scan is going to kill them. So now you guys know how it works. It's time to show you how to build this bad boy. So first off, I'm going to be in creative because it's going to make things a million times easier. And what you guys want to do is build a nine long, eight tall hole. So you want to go and you want to build three down, guys, three blocks down. And then you want to go ahead and build nine blocks along and eight blocks tall. And you want to build this nice little rectangle. Now, I'm going to be moving quite fast in this video. So if you guys don't understand anything, just pause the video and rewind. We just have a lot to get through. So guys, then you want to go ahead and come to the very middle of your bottom kind of line here. So in the middle, you want to go one, two, three, four, and place a block of your choice. I've just put yellow concrete, but it's totally up to you. And then next to it, you want to place another yellow concrete block. Then you want to go ahead and come to this one on the right, and you want to go one, two, three, one, two, and then destroy that. And this is going to be the block that scans for your eye, guys. So as you guys can see, when I stand here, it goes ahead and, well, it still says access denied. But this is going to be the block that when your friend or you stand on it, it's going to activate the whole system and open up the door for you. So it's super important you choose that before we go ahead and get started with the build. Then once you guys have done that, we're going to need some redstone magic. You guys saw the entire thing is underground, which is why it is so clean and smooth. And to make it this clean, you're going to need the following. You'll need some redstone dust, redstone comparator, and a redstone repeater. And then you're going to need my favorite block in the entire game, the command block. To do that, guys, do slash give. Oh, if I can spell slash give. You want to go space at P. 
P space command underscore block. Hit enter and as you guys can see, we've got ourselves a beautiful command block. And then you're going to want to do the following. Now, this is going to be quite quick, guys, but we're going to lay the groundwork for our machine. What you want to do is place a command block. Make sure the arrow is facing forwards, guys, like that. And next to it, you want to place another command block once again with the arrow facing forward. Then you want to go ahead and crouch, guys, and place another command block. Again, make sure it's facing forward. That is super important, guys. Then out of these two command blocks, you want to place a redstone comparator here and here. You want to place a redstone repeater here and then here. Put those both on three ticks just like that, guys. And then you want to place a block of your choice right in front of this comparator here. That is super important. Make sure you choose a block that stands out like yellow concrete. Then you want to place a command block here. It doesn't matter which way this one's facing. You want to place a red zero repeater here and you want to go one, two, three ticks. Place another command block, then place another repeater. One, two, three ticks on that one, guys. Place the command block. Then on the left side of this command block, place a redstone repeater. Go one, two, three. Place another command block. Then you want to go ahead and in this top left-hand corner, place another command block. That's right, guys. We're using a ton of commands for this. That's why we're moving so quickly. But then this is a little different, guys. From this command block, you want to place a comparator going in this direction and then a comparator going into this command block. Make sure the two prongs, the two little redstone things are both facing this corner command block. Then you want to go ahead and place one, two, three. Uh, repeaters then you want to place redstone redstone place a repeater here place another redstone and place a repeater there and put all of these repeaters on three ticks just like that guys and uh, boom we have completed the side that's going to basically open the door when you walk up to the eye scanner and then close it behind you and then when you walk out open it again that's all done in this tiny little space you guys will not believe how long it took me to get that so small once you guys have done that we need to do the system that's going to kill any friends who try to get into your base without being you. So to do that, guys, what you want to do is you want to come from this command block here. You want to leave a gap and you want to place a command block here and you can destroy that block. Then you want to place a redstone comparator and a repeater just like that and make sure this is on one, two ticks. It's super important. This one here needs to be on two ticks. Then you want to go ahead and place a command block. Uh, make sure this one is also important. It needs to be facing upwards, guys. Make that sure that arrow is facing upwards. And then above it, crouch and place another command block once again with that arrow facing upwards. Then you want to place a redstone repeater, a redstone repeater, redstone, redstone. And you want to place redstone repeaters all the way down to the very bottom here. Place redstone, redstone, and place one, two, and then place a command block right there. And you want to switch all of these repeaters to three ticks. Now, you don't actually have to have these all on three ticks. This is how long it takes before they are killed. So if you want them to be killed instantly, just go ahead and place the command block here. But I like to give them a little bit of a chance to run away before I kill them. So I make sure I've got all these redstone repeaters here, guys. And voila, we have done all the command blocks. We're just putting one vital little repeater right here. So with our little little block here you want to place a repeater facing into this one this is the most important thing in the entire sequence so it's super important you get this right guys that it is facing in towards that one only on one tick so guys we've laid the groundwork for our redstone uh eye scanner kind of machine now we need to go ahead and actually build the top floor so this is totally dependent on whatever you guys want to build your house side of. Personally, I think white concrete, some spruce wood planks, and glass panes, and some sea lanterns, as well as an observer block, work really well for this design, but it is totally up to you guys. So what you want to do is from our block that we chose earlier, place a block here, place a block, and then bang, bang, and place an observer as your eye scanner. Then you want to go ahead and finish up your kind of wall and floor. So for example, guys, I'll fill this up. We can just go ahead. I'm just going to build a kind of mock wall here so that we've actually got something to work with, guys. You want to go ahead and leave a one gap right there, and you want to build a three by three glass door. Now, for our command, it's going to be super important that this is a three by three door, guys. Uh, it just makes things a million times easier. Then we're going to go ahead and cover this up just like our other wall over here, and then we'll build a little bit of a floor here. I'm going to leave this front gap open so I can easily get under and we can mess with the redstone. Just like that, guys. So there's that little door. And then, of course, you don't want to fall into redstone on the other side. So we're just going to quickly build out this side. Of course, guys, you can design this however you want on the top floor. The only real thing that matters is the underground part. Now that we've got our kind of little mock wall, what you want to do, guys, is go to your pause menu, go to settings, come to game, and you want to scroll down to where it says show coordinates under world options and turn that on. And now, as you guys see, in my top left-hand corner, it shows a bunch of numbers, and these are your coordinates, and they are super important. They will be different depending on your Minecraft world, so make sure not to copy mine. Use your own coordinates. 
All right, so now that we got the coordinates, we got the build, it's time to put the commands in the command blocks themselves. So what you wanna do, the first thing, we wanna jump on this block that we specified earlier, guys, and you wanna grab your coordinates that are in your top left-hand corner. What I recommend doing, get a piece of paper, get a pen, and write this down. So for me, this is one for one. Remember, this will be different depending on your Minecraft world, so do not copy down my numbers. Make sure you copy your numbers. So mine is one for one. And what you wanna do is you wanna come to this first command block that we placed. Uh, right at the start of our sequence. You want to open this up, switch this over to repeat, go always active, and you want to go test four at P square bracket, and you want to put in our coordinates that we got earlier. So you want to go X equals, put in your first coordinate number. So for me, that was one. Then you want to go comma. You want to go Y equals, put in your second coordinate number. So for me, that was four. Then you want to go comma, Z equals, put in your third coordinate number. For me, that was one. Then you want to go comma, R equals one and then put a square bracket. Remember, use the three, the first three numbers here, one, four, and one. They will be different depending on your Minecraft world. Make sure you use your numbers. Then you wanna go ahead and come to our command block directly connected, coming forward out of this one, and you wanna change this to chain, always active and conditional, and you wanna type in test for space, and you wanna put your username. So for me, that is EY stream. Make sure you get the capital and letters right, and as well as the spelling. And now you guys see, when I stand on this block, check this out. If it works, you will see a redstone signal come out of this comparator. Make sure you test and make sure that you got this right. If that doesn't light up, guys, you've done something wrong and you need to check your command blocks. So, once you guys have done that, we want to give us a little bit of a message. So, follow your redstone, follow this little block, then outside you see the repeater. Just follow your little repeaters, guys, and you want to come to this block here. We're going to choose what the machine says. So, for this, we're going to go title space at p space title and you can write whatever you want so if you want to so for the other one guys i had it say identity space match of course you can go ahead and type in whatever you want if you wanted to say hello write hello it's up to you guys so from here guys you want to come follow your redstone again to your next command block and you want to type in fill then this is going to be the command block that opens up the door so to figure this out you want to come up to your service here guys and you want to smash this middle area open and you want to once again write down your coordinates so for me this is four four three and then you want to jump back down to our little bit of our command block mess here you want to come to this and you want to go fill and you want to put in those coordinates four space four space three space and you want to put in the same coordinates but in the second number add two so four and then four plus two is six remember guys let's say you add 25 it becomes 27 you want to add two to whatever your second number is so four six three and then you want to go ahead and do space and put air just like that once you guys have done that you want to come to your next command block coming out of this repeater here and you want to go fill and we're going to need another lot of coordinates and you want to write down the following so come up to the surface here guys you want to smash these two bits of glass stand here write down your coordinates so five four and three this is our first set of coordinates guys and you want to jump under here, come under here, come to this command block, five space, four space, three. Then you want to come back up here and you want to destroy this block and this block and stand on top of that glass pane. And you want to write these coordinates down. So for me, this is three, six, three. You want to jump down under here, come under here and do space, three, space, six, space, three, space. And then you want to put air. Once you guys have done that, if we go ahead and fill in this wall real quick, you can go ahead and test to make sure you have done it right. If we come up here, when I stand on this block, it's going to go identity match. And as you can see, that door is going to open for me, which is crazy. If this doesn't work, pause the video and rewind, guys, and see what you got wrong. But now that we've done this, we need to make this bad boy close. So to do that, directly next to our repeating command block, you want to come to this one and go and switch this also to repeat and always active. And do test form space at P square bracket. And then once again, we're going to use the same thing we did for the other one. Except this time, what you want to do is from your door here, guys, you want to, we'll just grab our yellow uh, concrete here. You want to go one, two, three, and place a block here and a block here. This is going to make things much easier for you. Then you want to stand on this farthest away block and you want to write down your coordinates. So for me, this is four, four, six. So if we go ahead and jump over here, we go ahead, test four, X equals four, Y equals four, and Z equals six. So those were my coordinates. Then you want to go comma, R equals one, and then put a square bracket just like that. And so now when we stand here, it's going to activate that command block, which then we're going to, as you guys can see, the redstone, if we follow it, is going to activate this command block. And this is going to be our command that fills the door back and closes it up. So for this, you want to go fill space, and then you want to come to this command block here, guys, that we put the two sets of coordinates in. Uh, for example, guys, just for reference, you can see where it is. It's the one in between these two. You want to go ahead and copy this command out. So four, so for me, it's five, four, three. 
three, six, three. Five, space four, space three, and then space three, space six, space three. Remember, these numbers will be different depending on your world. And then instead of writing air, guys, we're going to write glass underscore pain. And that means now when we appear on the other side here, guys, as you can see, bang, it's going to fill the door up with glass. But we also wanted to make so that when you walk up to the door, it reopens. To do that, guys, it's actually really, really simple. All you need to do is go ahead and come to this command block, switch it to repeat, always active and then in here you want to go test for space at p bracket and we're going to need one more set of coordinates and that's going to be this yellow block we play so for me guys it's really easy it's four 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 what you want to do is come down here i'm sure you guys got the hang of it now it is x equals four what remember your first coordinate number y equals your second coordinate number for me that's four and then comma z equals your third coordinate number so me once again it's four for me you want to go comma r equals one and then put the square bracket and now we have completed the entire sequence that will open and close the door so if you guys can see we come up here it goes identity match door opens you come through here then you stand on this guys and it closes the door up to leave guys all you do is come up here and bang the door opens and as you can see it'll close right behind us bang super easy now we need to go ahead and deal with the part that kills those pesky friends who are trying to get through your door who are not allowed in and as you can see that is all on this side of our machine guys so let's go ahead and get started first off you want to come to this command block here that is next to our chain and you want to switch this to repeat and always active and you want to copy the exact command from this command block the very first command block we did guys you want to copy this exact command into this block so for me guys that's going to be test for at p brackets and then let's just check what i wrote in here one for one so it's going to be x equals one y equals four z equals one and then you want to go comma r equals one and then square bracket so remember copy whatever you guys wrote in your very first command block then you want to go ahead and come to this command here and you want to go title space at p space title and this is what you guys are going to want to type in you this is basically your message to whoever is trying to get into your door so you could go go away for example with the one i did for the other one is i wrote access denied it's totally up to you guys once again what you want to write this can be it can literally be like ha 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 you can't get in you can write whatever you want here guys then in the command block directly above it you want to switch this to chain always active and then uh, you can leave this on conditional, guys. That's what you're gonna wanna do. And then we're gonna go title space at P, subtitle. And this is going to be the message that tells them that if they don't leave, they're gonna die. So I like to write leave or die and then put an explanation mark right there, guys. So now if it detects someone who isn't you, it's going to tell them to leave or die and access denied. And then it's going to give them a certain amount of time, which is this delay here, before it kills them. So the final command block we need to set up is kill. And then we're going to go at P. And then you want to put square bracket. And you want to put in the coordinates of the block right here, guys, where it uh, does the identity match thing. You want to put in your coordinates. So for me, that is one for one. So if we come down here, we're going to go kill at P. And we're going to go X equals one. Y equals four. And then comma Z equals one. You want to go comma R equals but this time instead of putting one you want to go ahead and put in four so that means if they try and break your door they're still going to be four blocks uh, away from that block so it's still going to kill them meaning your system is going to be super foolproof and guys we are officially done Woo! that was a long and tricky build this is quite advanced compared to what i normally do on the channel guys so if you didn't understand anything go back re-watch the video i tried to make it as simple as i could for you guys um, but yeah, let's go ahead and test it. You come up here, it goes identity match, the door opens, we come through here, you stand here, the door closes, you walk up to it, it opens, and then hopefully, yep, it closes right behind us. Now, for example, let's say you want this to go ahead and let's say uh, this is testing for my sister, guys. This is the, oh, by the way, I should mention this chain command block is going to be the command that you can choose who is recognized by the machine. So for example, if I want this eye scanner to look for Esther, we put in craftsburg PE. I close this up. Now it's not looking for me. Let's see whether it works. We come up here. Now guys, I did make a small little error with our kill command block here, guys. Remember to put a square bracket on the end. I forgot. But anyway, guys, and now that we've done that, if I switch into survival, and now that it's looking for my sister instead of me, when I walk up here, it's going to go access denied, leave or die. And when I try and walk through here, you guys already know what happens. Let's just say it's not pretty. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. 
and you enjoyed learning how to make this super futuristic and honestly, it's probably the cleanest uh, eye scanner you guys have ever seen. Literally no redstone is on the surface. I think at least it's the coolest thing ever. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below if you learned something new. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome builds. And until then, guys, anyway, stream out. Bye!